Welcome back on this channel, Bratan. And you know that we are on this big picture. We are shortly before a huge pump of Bitcoin. We have here this golden cross happening. You see this golden cross. We have here green dot. The RSI is almost in a neutral position. So on the big picture, it's very clear that we will see as soon as Bitcoin breaking here, our previous all-time high at around 70k. As soon as we're breaking here this line, we will see Bitcoin heading to our big price tag, which I tell you later in the video again. But now we have to watch the immediate short term because this is now so important. I'm getting really crazy right now because we have liquidity on the upside, but also on the downside. But to get a clear picture, we have to, or well, this is what I did. I zoomed out, then I zoomed a little bit more in and then a little bit more in. So, so on the big picture, it's clear. So we are shortly before a big pump. This is clear. So we are on the same page, bro. Well, I'm speaking like a professional, like a professional. We are on the same page, bro. Then we are zooming in. Now we are zooming in on the uh, on the daily. Let's zoom in on the daily. Wait, daily is even too much. Let's zoom in on the four hourly. Uh, and we see the most important thing is we broke down. We broke down this ascending broadening wedge. And the technical price target of this ascending broadening wedge is the, uh, you measure it from top to the downside and the price target, we should not forget this, is still, still 54k. It's still 54k. Now there's coming a problem. We have a problem now. We have now a problem because we have full moon. In four days we have full moon. And the probability that we are pumping on full moon is very likely. Because you see on full moon, you see usually is a pump, 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 pump. On new moon, we see dump, dump. And here we are getting in four days, we get here new moon. So here we will see new moon. So usually what we should see here, a massive pump. And now it's getting a bit tricky. So we know that we will see, a, or the probability is, 70 to 80 percent that we will see on full moon a pump but as i said in my previous videos sometimes it happens that we see on so usually we see four, four or five days before full or before new moon this volatility so on new moon we see dump on full moon we see pump like four days before but sometimes it happens that we have only one day or on the same day we see the pump on new moon uh, on full moon now if we are watching the liquidity here we see we have a lot of liquidity at 61,600, which the market maker chase. We're doing here SMC trading, bro. As I explained to you, smart money concept. We are watching where the liquidity is. 61,600. You see? So my plan is still, I mean, if we are checking here the chart, we see we perfectly have here hit the 0,236 Fibonacci. We perfectly got rejected here and now we are heading here 61,500. It's exactly where the liquidity is lying. So my theory is here, by the way, check the yesterday's video because I explained we will have on Monday a lot of earnings coming in. So the, t not on, on, on Tuesday, starting on Tuesday. So next week is the earning week of the all these banks and all these shit companies. So... If they are positive, we will see pump. If they are negative, we see dump. But combined with the full moon, we should see usually a very positive week. However, we have new moon on four, in four days. So we have still four days to dump. But what I'm expecting right now, so my theory is here. On the big picture, it's very important to know. This is... So the big, the biggest, the biggest crucial support line which we have to break is 60, 60, 60k. So then we know we, 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 are, we are going to all-time high. But in the immediate short term, the, our biggest resistance is 68k. Because the 68k, as I showed you, going, going back to uh, 2023. Going back to 2023. So we have to break... We have to break 68k approximately in order to see Bitcoin breaking potentially this 70k line. 
yes but in my opinion as soon as we break 68k we know we are heading to we are heading to 100k so in my opinion the most crucial line is 68k this is the most crucial line so my theory for the immediate short term is i think we will see still here drop to 61 500 because if we are watching on the four hourly we have also this red dot which is which is showing us usually when we have this red dot we see here always a dump you see and we are getting here death cross and we are overbought so but it's not too much everything is not too much so in my opinion this all speaks clearly that we see only this dump to 61500 so they grab the liquidity here at 61500 and then and then we are heading here up 61500 and then we are heading up here to up to 67 or even around 68k and here we're getting rejected and falling down to 54k we have where we have also our cme gap and we had the biggest support coming in and here we will bounce and then we see here a massive pump so new moon on new moon which will come here at 17 approximately here we will see here this pump happening so here we will have new moon then for several days uh, we will have um, pump this will like slowly blah, 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 going up then we will have here full moon uh, new moon here we'll have full moon full moon is pump then we have new moon then we see dump and then we will see here on a on a full moon again a pump this is my theory why to 67k because we have a lot a lot of liquidity up to 67k you see here at 65k we have a lot of liquidity and if we uh watch it's crazy it's 64k but you see here this this little penis 61 700 61 500 they will liquidate before and then we are heading up to if we, and this is only on binance we are checking right now you see here yeah 67k 67k then we are going up up to 67k 67100 which is exactly here you see it would be exactly this line this support line so probably we're getting here jacked or we're getting here reject 68k and then we will see dump to 54k because 54k obviously we have still here a lot of liquidity which is not so much like here but the more we're heading up the more liquidity we will have here and we have already millions of millions of liquidity this is my plan yeah i'm sure please do your own research and do the opposite of what, what i'm doing but here i have an alert you see relative str strength index of pepper is going down because you know i'm trading pepper because it's quite volatile which is more dangerous but it's also a lot of potential um, there is a lot of possibilities so you know the thing is what the fuck going is that? Huh? one second the fuck <laughs> ah. pepper ah. Where's pepper now? Here. okay now pepper we have to watch because pepper as i showed you in my yesterday's video we have a lot of liquidity here we have a lot of liquidity between uh, same like bitcoin you see it's they always it always similar to bitcoin we have a lot of liquidity here starting to starting at uh, 10109 and we have here down below 085 and as i said i think because we have also here at 092 a lot of liquidity so as i said as i expect bitcoin to dump to 61500 i expect him pepper will follow i expect because on four hourly we have also here red dot on pepper appearing you see it's same we have we are getting here death cross right now on the four hourly and slightly overbought it's all not too much so what i'm expecting here that we see here dump uh, a week to uh, to maximum 92 092 and then as bitcoin will pump we will head here up to uh to 117 or 115 so this is why i will enter i will keep even though i really want to enter right now already maybe i should even enter right now but i don't know oh, you see here i prepared already the position 
I prepared here my long position at 0942. 0942. So here I would go long. Maybe I should do it right now. Uh, but we have a death cross. It's uh, We should see a further dump. But on the one hourly we are getting a bullish. Now look, but because even if we see here, when we see here a little bit more dump to 0 0.94 or, or 9.2 and then a pump, then we will have here also getting this bu bullish divergence. You see? So it, it really, even though I want to go long here, but it probably doesn't make sense. Probably I should wait. Maybe I, I change to 0 0.95 my entry. So fuck it, you know, just to be sure because because it really doesn't make sense. It it it's even though we have here um, a golden cross happening. Usually, you see on golden cross we see pump. So probably maybe we will have a little bit more pump here to zero nine six. You see here as here we had a little bit pump, but then after again a dump. You see, for example here, boom. Or we had here also uh, here. See, boom, here. Yeah. And then we had a little bit pump and then boom, again a dump. So probably we see something like this here right now because I I watched on the one minute and on the one minute we are getting over uh, oversold. Now we see obviously a pump again because we are oversold. You see, boom, now it's pumping. So this is quite obvious. I should really do... Uh, live trading here with you because this would be 0.37 percent which i could make profits on it but uh yeah no i should wait bro fuck alter fuck now this red dot bro you see because always when we had this red dot you see boom we see what we see boom dump you see a boom dump always when this red dot appeared red dot okay here we had a little bit more pump but then we are we dumped heavily Here also red dot, little bit dump. Red dot, little bit dump. I mean, this is even if we are checking here, how big was the dump? It was 8%. So if we are dumping here, 8%, we would go here to 0 0.94. You see? So always when this red dot appearing, you see a red dot, a little bit dump. How, how big was here the dump? Here, wait. Yeah, how da job to your might. How big was here the dump? Also around eight percent. So we should see here dump to zero nine four. I think I have to move a little bit. Probably I have to move a little bit uh, my position here to zero, just to be sure to zero nine five, and my take profit. My take profit is at zero one zero nine. I think I can change it to one zero nine because we have here a lot of liquidity. But <coughs> I think we should we should see more dump. Probably it's not a good decision because see so many liquidity crazy. Mm, Pepe. Oh, come on, why it takes so long? Okay, where we have a lot of liquidity. Yeah, we have a lot of liquidity here at 0823. The question is when we are get I think first we see pump and then like dump like this low. I don't think that we will see this low dump here. But oh yeah, 0942. Yeah, 0942 is almost it's almost in. You see here, oof, so much liquidity. They will grab this liquidity, they will grab before we go up. So 094, 095, you see here a lot of 096. They will grab all this liquidity. I mean, if I go already long and if we see still the dump, I'm losing out on 3%. But 3%, it's with my 150k trade, it's, it's around 5k. So I should wait. 
I should wait. And if I go to 0 0.94, I'm making here. Yeah, zero uh, because I'm shitting in the pants. I I will prepare at 0 0.95. You see here, here I'm getting triggered. Here my trade is getting here exactly at 0 0.95. We are here. Yeah, because you see they will grab this liquidity. We don't know how low, but this is too much liquidity. This liquidity they will grab down to 0 0.942, but this is too risky for me because imagine it will not get filled. And let me check again on Binance on three days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Binance, it goes down to 0 0.96. Oh, blood. I'm not sure if it, will, if it will hit 0 0.95. It's difficult to say. Let me go on 24 hour. Let me go on 48 hour. Uh, 096, it's almost that we will see. Probably, you see, we see right now pump to 01 and then again to 09. Now, ah, wait, you don't see here. You see? We have here a lot of liquidity shit. 01 and then. Yeah. Ah! What to do? I think better wait, bro. Wait, because you see Bitcoin Bitcoin will also dump. Bitcoin will dump, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Chill, chill. Don't get emotional. Let me check on uh, what what about BitGet. How much liquidity we have here down below on BitGet? Oh, it's 0.92 even. Uh, I mean, they have 1 million here liquidity. On Binance, we have around also several million liquidity. Uh, but it's dangerous. Maybe I should do 0 0.96. Maybe I should do on Bybit how much we have here. On Bybit is. Oh, Bybit has a lot. No, Bybit will liquidate here. Bybit will liquidate, I'm pretty sure, to 0 0.94, so I get triggered here. You see, it's a little bit different everywhere because Bybit has a lot to look at. Yeah, yeah. I think it will it will hit. Uh, I hope, I hope, bro. I hope so much. I have so many alerts here on. Okay, yeah, this is what I think. You see here, uh, all the, uh, on the big picture, we see all the, all the meme coins pumping, but also Aptos and Sui. Aptos and Sui we bought, we bought already when it was like nothing. SPX right now trending. Uh, Bread is trending. Yeah, Aero. Fuck Aero. I want to buy because I want to sell my Polkadot. You know, for Aero because I'm so lost on Polkadot. It's crazy. Okay, this is my theory. Thank you everyone for watching. I kiss you and see you later. Mwah.